I know a lot of you guys want to see Nismo, which is my pet cockatiel. Is that a fruit? What are you doing, Nismo? I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> what the fuck you looking at? What the fuck at? Get that guy out of my face. Worst audition. Really, nigga? Did you get a Nismo to replace VTech? So this is Nismo right here. Bitch, where? Here's Nismo. He's a pretty funny little male cockatiel. Not completely sure if he's male. He's probably like four years old. You wanna fly, huh? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, good bird. Nismo! Man. Nismo! In the beginning of his lifetime, we did clip his wings. It's best to clip your bird's wings just so they could try and stay accustomed to you. So he could rely on me to go places. Look how majestic he looks. I taught him well. It broke. He does rely on me to go places, which is kind of good. Boom. There you go. It's pretty easy to take care of a cockatiel. Once you have the cage set up, there's two main things you have to take care of, which is their food and their water. You want to change the water every day, and you want to make sure they have food all the time. You want to have a couple toys for your cockatiel to play with. Nismo! Let's go ahead and change the water. I did get him as a hand-raised cockatiel when he was around three months. He's probably four years old. These birds are one of the most vocal birds there are. When they're not whistling, they're chirping. These birds are known for their whistling abilities. They love to mimic whistles. You love to mimic whistles, Nismo? Ooh. You guys have been asking, does Nismo know any tricks? Like any animal, he's most encouraged when you have treats. This is your best friend when it comes to birds. This here is known as millet spray. It's like candy to them. I don't know why, they're just little balls. Look at him, look at him, he's getting all happy already. Oh jeez! Birds feel everything with their beak. So if you think a bird's gonna bite you, that's just how they feel stuff. They don't usually bite unless they feel threatened. Crypto has no self-respect. There's no stopping him when the lotero's out. That's enough milk. What the hell? You think you're King Kong? Let's try and get him to say hello. Hello. Spin. Oh, God, bird. God, bird, come around. Throw that ass back. Yeah, there you go. Spin. You see, he knows. He knows what good bird. Good bird. And that's a really wide turn. This is the first hand-raised bird that I've owned. If you don't know what hand-raised means, they take the babies away from their parents and they feed the babies with syringe. It makes the bird familiar with humans. He loves to be pet, but like if I hit the wrong spot, he goes crazy. Is that child support? The reason why I called him Nismo, I own a Nissan, just so I could say I have a Nismo. You could either get a hand-raised cockatiel or a parent-raised cockatiel. You could tame a parent-raised cockatiel. It does take a lot more time. Birds are the most attention-seeking whores there are. No problem with the cockatiel is their screaming. You guys could probably hear Nismo in all of my videos in the background chirping his heart away. They scream because they want your attention. A good way to prevent that is when they're screaming, don't pay attention to them, just ignore them. And when they are silent, give them your full attention or reward them with millet. I would say a cockatiel is a mid-difficulty bird to own. If you want a beginner bird, a very good bird to start off with would either be a budgie or a lovebird. Those two birds are the best beginner birds. I used to own two lovebirds. My very first lovebird was named Tiki. 
He actually knew how to break out of his cage. That guy flew away. I never found him. The other lovebird, she flew into my backyard. I trapped her and I caught her. I called her Tak. I've owned four birds. Two cockatiels and two lovebirds. I've always been really attracted to birds just because they can fly. That's freaking awesome. Look at the little mohawk on this dude. Damn creep. You can't just watch me, dog. My dream bird will always be an African gray. They're probably like a grand. This dude cost me $70. I did have to drive about 30 minutes to get him. When the cockatiel is feeling happy, he spreads his wings, making a heart shape. These birds are from Australia. If you visit Australia, not only will you see a bunch of random kangaroos fighting in the streets, but you will also see a bunch of cockatiels flying everywhere. Birds could live a pretty good amount of lifetime. Male cockatiels are known to be better singers than females. <laughs> as far as songs and noises that this bird knows how to do, he knows how to do the wolf whistle, he knows the if you're happy and you know it song, and he gives a bunch load of kisses. That hole right there, you guys see that little thing on his cheek? That is their ears. They're freaking cross-eyed or something. Their eyes are on the opposite sides of their heads. So if a bird wants to look at you, he's not going to look at you straight on. He's going to look at you with his face tilted to the side. He wants to get on the table so bad. Come here. You want a banana? Birds are probably one of the most curious animals there is. Birds are freaking funny as hell. Who keeps Nismo company is Crypto and the strawberry tree. Every time Crypto goes up to his face, this dude just gives him kisses. I don't recommend you getting your bird accustomed to your dogs. That's the reason why Doc died. Crypto killed the shit out of Doc. He smacked her. Doc, <laughs> Hopefully, if I was to get him the harness, he doesn't freak out like that. Why are you scared of the window? What is this outside life? When a cockatiel is unaware of their surroundings, that mohawk rises. When a cockatiel is happy, the mohawk sets. More aerodynamic. I really want to get him a harness. That would be really cool just taking him everywhere. Now, as far as him shitting on me, there's shitty people out there, I guess. When I first got him, he never flew in his life. It was like the homie Rio. I would take him to this living room, just run with him, make him flap his wings. Yeah, like that. Until I gave him enough confidence to just launch. And that's how Rio was born. Oh, nice landing. I could make a bunch of videos about him. Let me know if you guys enjoy the videos about my cockatiel. My daily routine with him, every night we put him inside the garage, cover him with a blanket. You should cover your bird with a blanket so you won't mess up their cycle and it also comforts them. When the morning comes, I take him out of the garage and I put him on that tree. That tree gives him complete shade. I feel like I'm being watched. It doesn't get too hot where I'm from, so I have no problem with him overheating. If you do keep your bird outside, make sure he has water. This dude probably hasn't showered in about three months or something. He never showers in his water. How I used to shower him was I would just put him in my finger, grab a squirt bottle and just squirt him, and he loved it. I haven't done that in a couple months. I should probably start showering him again. This is how birds groom themselves. Birds do leave some type of dandruff type stuff. You see that whiteness? When they do groom themselves, they do leave that around. If your bird was to shower a lot, that would reduce the dandruff. When Nismo was smaller, he had more dots all throughout his body. They did go away. Now he just looks like a normal cockatiel. When before he used to look like a pie without the cream. But this is Nismo. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video about Nismo. I want to get him a mate so he could have a bunch of little birdies. That would be so adorable. These birds love mirrors. Look at that booty. I taught him well. Say something else, bird.
Okay, okay, we get it. Oh, jeez. He has no self-respect, just like all my animals. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace! Feel free to follow my Snapchat and my Instagram at KZE underscore production.